What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxer coming back at you with some great news. We got Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. The fight was just announced today. Everything is official. Now, for y'all that was wondering what took so long for the fight to finally happen, from what I'm hearing, Tank Davis had um, he had court yesterday, and he pled guilty to the hit and run, um, and he's going to be sentenced on May 5th. But from what I heard, uh, they didn't want to uh, sign the fight because they did not know when Tank was going to be sentenced, and they didn't want to... They didn't want to sign the fight, and then they, they mess around. He didn't mess around, be sentenced to some time, and then the fight has to be, you know, canceled. So, you know how I do it. Let me do the research. You guys relax. Here we go. So, shout out to ESPN.com. It says, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia both signed contracts for an April 15 super fight in Las Vegas at 136-pound catchweight, sources told ESPN on Saturday, which is today. The deal, which has been in work since November, will finally be finalized once broadcaster Showtime and DAZN sign. Oh, once broadcaster Showtime and DAZN sign contract sources say Showtime Davis and, and promoter PBC Longtime Network sent the contract to DAZN on Saturday per source. The streaming service, who is home of Garcia, who competes for who competes for Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy promotion. The fight between the star boxers is perhaps the biggest commercial event boxing can deliver. A dispute over rematch clause threatened to derail the fight, but that issue was resolved last week at the PBC agreed that Golden Boy promotion will serve as the lead promoter for the rematch if Garcia wins. Only Davis can exercise the rematch clause even though it, um, in the event he loses per sources, Typ typically boxers have 30 days to activate their right to an immediate return bout. Actually, uh, well, yeah, and once they activate it, um, it has to. You have to. They have to um, come to terms. Like in like they have a year to turn come to terms with that. But it says. Um, Davis, who's 28 no, with 26 knockouts, will earn the lion's share of the revenue for the first fight per sources, per sources, and is the betting favor to win the fight. The Baltimore native defeated Hector Luis Garcia last month via knife round TKO to keep Ryan's Garcia matchup intact. On Thursday, David pleaded, pleaded guilty to four counts of steaming on a hard on a hit and run crash in November 2020. And in Baltimore that left four people injured, including a pregnant woman. Davis sentencing is set for May 5th, which means any potential punishment won't interfere his ability to compete in April. Davis is also set to be a uh okay, well, this is yeah, okay, this is this is pretty much irrelevant. Um let's see. So it says so okay. Yeah, but so basically, yeah, I mean, you know, everything else is um is basically uh basically irrelevant but but more all in all we got to fight so man this is great news man i'm super excited about this man both fighters really needed to step it up in competition um especially especially ryan garcia um tank davis you know he we've been wanting to see tank davis fight one of his rivals for the longest if you guys remember you know he it's like everybody tank davis sparred he uh he had beef with um, but you know he he was going back and forth with Teofimo Lopez. He was going back and forth with um, with uh, uh, shoot, what's his name? Um, uh, uh, One thirty. Um, uh, my bad, uh, Tevin Farmer. If you remember, they, they were uh, Tank Davis and Tevin Farmer were going back and forth like you know for a long time, seeing each other, running into each other. They all always have bad words. Uh, we wanted to see Tank versus Lomachenko. You know, it, it was it, um, we wanted to see Tank versus, of course, Ryan Garcia. And you know, and, and same with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, bro. Oh my goodness. But I mean, good thing the, the difference between Tank and Ryan Garcia is though. Though we didn't see Tank in there with the guys that we wanted, we did see Tank in there with some good guys, with some with some good names. You know, um, uh, he he fought uh, uh, Leo Santa Cruz. You know, um, him versus him. well, we we understand now that uh, Isak Cruz is a good fighter. That's not a fight that we asked for though. Um, you know, he's been in a big big event with Roley. Um, I don't think anybody considers Roley a, a, a just a top guy, top guy, but. You know, um, Leo Santa Cruz definitely, you know, damn boy, you know, he's past his prime. But we have seen, I guess we can't say the best name on his resume was Gamboa. Now, I mean, not Gamboa, um, Leo Santa Cruz. Now, um, Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, the best name on his uh, resume will probably be 
probably be Luke Campbell, who is only known for losing. However, we it's been a lot of guys like you know I see a lot of people like to talk about Tank, but it's been a lot of guys that we haven't seen Ryan Garcia in the with for y'all that don't know if you remember. Uh, at first, Ryan Garcia was talking about how he wanted to fight Tank. He was going to knock Tank out in two rounds. And then he uh, said he had bigger fish to fry. He said he was in talks with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao stated he didn't know what the hell Ryan Garcia was talking about. And then they were talking about Ryan Garcia versus uh, Jorge Linares. Uh, Ryan Garcia was the mandatory challenger for De uh, Devin Haney's WBC title. Ryan Garcia ducked De Devin Haney. He did not want to fight Devin Haney, even though he was Devin Haney's mandatory. That is that is bizarre to me. But anyways, um. Ryan Garcia uh, was then the talks, um, you know, with the Jorge Linares fight, uh, not Jorge Linares, but uh, with the, um, um, he was supposed to fight Javier for Fortuna. This was like summer of 2021, I believe. Um, and then he pulled out uh, with saying that he had mental health issues going on. You know, like he pulled out like a week later saying he had mental health issues. And then, you know, uh, he was um, in talks with uh, fighting J uh, Jojo Diaz. And then that never happened. Um, you know, he then later back came back and fought Javier Fortuna. So, you know, shout out to him for that. Um, he was in talks with uh, he was uh, talking about trying to make a fight with Tevin Farmer. That never came about, you know, so it, it man, like, and, you know, so. Ryan Garcia has definitely, uh, Ryan Garcia has definitely, um, not fought anybody that we've wanted to see him fight at all. So, you know, this is a fight that both fighters need. Both fighters needed this fight. Um, and this is definitely a major fight. These guys have been going back and forth at it on social media, um, for years now. I'm talking about since like 2018, about around the same time that Tank Davis, I mean, around the same time Caleb Plant and, um, David Benavides was going back and forth. So, you know, it's, 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 it's overdue for this matchup to happen. And I'm super excited for this, man. Who do I have winning? You know, of course, I, I definitely have Tank Davis winning. If anybody, um, is watching this if you got Ryan Garcia winning, you know, it's nothing wrong with that at all, man. Ride for your guy. I just think that Ryan Garcia um, makes a lot of fundamental uh, fundamental mistakes, like a lot. Like, you know, a lot of people talk about how fat, how he relies on that check hook a lot, but he definitely is very, he fights tall. He doesn't bend his knees at all, not, not really at least, um, which is going to be an issue with somebody that's going to move around. Um, and I think that Tank is going to bring him into a trap. But uh, I'll break that down on a different video. I just, that was just a little brief little breakdown. I, I give y'all a real breakdown on a different video but i'm definitely picking tank to beat ryan garcia um aside from ryan garcia see his chin always being in there too but listen ryan garcia really wanted this fight so i gotta give ryan garcia respect man on that bro because he really he we you know I, we thought I thought he was capping at one point, but he really has been adamant about this fight. So maybe he sees something. As long as he has confidence in himself, that's gonna make for a good fight. Let me know what you guys think, man. Are, are you gonna buy the fight? I'm definitely buying the fight. Like, comment, subscribe. Who are you picking? But what do I know?